Today we're getting the chance to speak with some of this year's award winners and we're going to start with Bill Zarletta who is representing Project ECHO, the institutional award winning Project ECHO I should say. Thank you so much for being here with us. Oh, Thanks Ellie. It's such an honor to, to be here. Well good. So tell us a little bit about Project ECHO, what it does and really how it works. Project ECHO was founded in uh, 2003, almost a decade ago, by Dr. Sanjeev Arora. He was a, a professor of internal medicine, a uh, gastroenterologist at the uh, University of New Mexico. He saw a need. He is a specialist. He had effectively a monopoly on, on knowledge. He knew hepatitis C better than anybody in the state. So people had an eight month lead time to come see him. So with they would die <laughs> before they got to see him. So he saw this need. So what he came up with was how can he take folks that are out in the rural and underserved areas, which was a large population of folks that had hepatitis C, and help them. So he developed the ECHO model. The ECHO model is a hub and spoke model where we have specialists in the uh, uh, well, in the hub, if you will, and outside in the spokes, we have generalists, general practitioners that don't have a specialty. Um, so what they do is through knowledge networks, develop an expertise in, in this case, hepatitis C. Mm -hmm. And it worked phenomenally well. That's and awesome. So, um, a good example is just following, you know, if you look at ECHO, the extension for community health outcomes, the C is in red. And that is kind of a, a look back to the origins of Project ECHO with hepatitis C. But we've gone beyond that with uh, a number of, of common, complex chronic diseases, um, uh, HIV AIDS, uh, rheumatology, chronic pain, complex care. Um, and so, you know, and there's 17 other uh, disease states, if you will, that ECHO can, ad can address, but the model was addressed and developed uh, for hepatitis C. Amazing. So tell me a little bit about what this award means to you. Well, to Project ECHO. well what it means to, uh, well, to, to me, I'm, I'm accepting it. I get, I get a chance to go on stage with Jennifer Lopez, you know, on, in, a, in a video, and you know, how many times do you get to do that? Unless you're on American Idol, of course, but um, what, so to echo, it's a recognition. American Telemedicine Association is, they've been around 20 years. They are the experts in telemedicine, taking a, a physician and connecting them with the patient. The echo model dovetails so closely with that. It's not telemedicine in the sense that Project Echo in the 10 years has seen a grand total of zero patients. So we use the knowledge network of during the tele-echo clinics to train uh, the um, rural folks to reduce their professional isolation, but to give them an opportunity to network among themselves so it's a social network. Then during these clinics, we have a didactic, which a uh, specialist will do a 10, 15, 20 minute presentation and teach these folks about how to become a, a, an expert. So, so it's different, you know, essentially it's different than, than telemedicine, but it dovetails so greatly. So what it means to get, for ECHO to get recognized with this award is huge because it shows the potential of how telemedicine and the tele-ECHO model can work together to really address the world's healthcare problems. That's wonderful. Um, just a real quick piece of advice. What's the one piece of advice you would give to anyone who is thinking of using a knowledge network? What have you learned over the last 10 years with Project ECHO? Well, it's to learn from what we've done. We've made tons of, let's just say, opportunities to learn, and we have them documented. And, but if you want to look at one advice, use the best technology that you can so that you bring the uh, remote uh, clinicians as close as you can in the highest resolution and highest definition that you can. Great, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.